Hello, welcome to this session and this session we will discuss about corporate social responsibility typically how Indian companies are doing their CSR and also we will briefly understand what is social sustainability and try to also understand the difference between the corporate social responsibility and the corporate social sustainability because most of the time it is being used closely but you will find also there are certain differences there between the corporate social responsibility and corporate social sustainability. So, what, uh, what it means when we say corporate so uh, social responsibility possibly we everyone understand what it means or how it is being op uh, operationalized. So, it is a continuing commitment by business to behave ethically to contribute to economic development while improving the quality of the workforce and their family as well as local community and society at large. This is the definition given by WBCST. And if you look at the over a period of time, there is a evolution of CSR with respect to what have been the focus for them. So, initially it was profit focus, a company exists only for the short term shareholder profit. Then they moved into the philanthropy that is passive donation to charities when requested, to community affair, strategy giving link to the business interest including, including the cause related marketing to corporate community investment that is strategic partnership initiated by company and finally as a broadly now the way the corporate social responsibility is evolved they are playing a big role in the sustainable business when it is integrated into business function goal and strategy. So, CSR is not just a, a part of charity, CSR is not something about doing only community, it is integrated into the business fun function goal and strategy. So, CSR in India started in 1859 during industrialization, CSR was just uh, about charity and donation and during independence it was human empowerment and rural development. Then in 2014 this is with our company act, uh, uh, company act approved and for there we got the first country in the world to enact the mandatory minimum CSR spending law. So, over a period of time CSR in India has also evolved with the development of India and moved from charity philanthropy to women empowerment, rural development and many more focus. And from institutional building it is to community development. So, when we talk about CSR the first name came is the Tata group, they are the first one to uh, possibly when the name of CSR was not kind of define operationalize they were into the activity what should be the part of the CSR activity. The, the first one to establish the labor welfare practices even before these were mandated, made statutory laws across the world. They introduced the 8 hour work day in 1912, the free medical aid they started in 1915, welfare department in 1917 and leave with pay, worker provident fund, worksmen uh, compensation in 1920 and maternity benefit for ladies in 1920. So, all this information taken for this is adapted from this internet sources on CSR in India like typically what is the history of CSR in India. This is this graph shows the recent activity disclosure what have been part of this future scape business responsible business report in 2020. And if you look at in the, um, uh, the in the y axis of this uh, graph, the you will find that the activity what comes under CSR or the activity what the company they have been doing under CSR those have been listed. And mostly if you look at it is educational initiative, health and wellness, rural development, environment, livelihood, donation, charity and vocational training. There are many more things where the presence of CSR by the company is still very marginal or very minimal or also it, we may say this is absent where they need to pick it up. So, company has have been steadily improved their performance on this count, but you will find that still there are not having enough program in the 
social space. So, even if the CSR activity is increasing, but then do not have the adequate program in social space. This is the uh, top 10 India, this is the top Indian companies by for CSR, this is from CSR uh, report 2020 and uh, this ranking this CSR top uh, Indian companies in CSR, this ranking is based on company spending pattern on CSR performance, spending with respect to the responsibility matrix and also the ESG performance and how companies are incorporating the SDGs into the responsible business action. So, here if you look at there are uh, presence of manufacturing, there is presence of public sector, there is presence of service sector. So, there is a mix of different company that those are appearing in the top 10 company per performing the best in CSR. Let us look one or two company, let us take one or two company and see how they are uh, how they have performed or what are the activity in the CSR. So, to start with Infosys, the well known company for CSR, it conducts its CSR activity primarily through three trusts, Infosys Foundation in India, Infosys Foundation USA and Infosys Science Foundation. These are the focus area that is healthcare, education and others and this is what they are prescribed CSR spending and actual spending what they have done in last 5 years that is 2014-15 to 2018-19 and if you look at whatever they have prescribed for CSR amount that is mostly they are kind of spending it or close to that whatever is prescribed and whatever is actual their pay spending for CSR. And this is their CSR highlights mostly with uh, healthcare and others. Uh, others uh, initiative or the other activities uh, coming under the CSR. Then coming to the second company that is ITC, the key st uh, stakeholder over here is uh, the typically they focus is on rural communities across India where ITC has the agribusiness operation and large majority of whom are small and marginal farmers. The community residing in the vic uh, vicinity of ITC units mainly rural but also the semi rural and also the urban location. They take a horizon strategy that is through intervention of making current livelihood more productive, profitable and sustainable and the focus area is primary agriculture and allied activity. Then they have this popular ITC e Chopal initiative in the focus of water set development, afforestation, sustainable agriculture, livestock development and women economic empowerment. Also ITC's program for education, skilling and vocational training, health sanitation on the solid waste management. This is their water positive status, then they have partnered with Niti Aayog to improve the agriculture and allied sector in 27 aspirational district, then each Opal platform to enable the market access and digital driven agri transformation and help 4 million farmer till date. Similarly, Coming to the another company that is Tata Chemical. So, here the CSR program is represented as Beacon. Beacon is for Blossom, Enhance, Aspire, Conserve and Nurture and it covers the aspects of health, sanitation, nutrition, livelihood generation, education, environment and biodiversity. And what each of it focuses on? So, in Blossom if you, you know about the Okai Center. They have created the Okai Center for Empowerment where they give the livelihood to 1500 artisans through skill enhancement training and facilitating the market linkage and this is one of the successful platform where the sales are increasing in for the handicraft and handloom. That in enhance uh, in the under enhance they are promoting livelihood, agricultural development and the livestock management. Similarly, in Aspire it focuses the learning and skill development initiative and similarly for conserve it is biodiversity protection, nurture it is health and sanitization. And apart from this, uh, this also they focuses on women empowerment and the disaster support. Now coming to the second part of the session to understand what is social sustainability. Now, so, we know that sustainability has three dimension, it is economic, it is environment, it is social. But let us try to because the 
space, the sphere, it all talks about the social business, social entrepreneurship. In this context, let us understand what is social sustainability. So, social sustainability is the ability of a community to develop process and structure which not only meet the need of its current members, but also support the ability of the future generation to maintain a healthy community. And from the business perspective, it is about understanding the impact of corporation on people and society. In corporation, social sustainability performance issues includes human rights, fair labor practices and also it gets into community engagement and philanthropy. Now, why there is a the growing importance of social sustainability? There is a growing importance of social sustainability because of this query what the businesses or what the community they face at the, the business community they face at the different point of time. Are we properly engaging our stakeholder that is with respect to the stakeholder engagement? The complaint and grievances are we adequately responding to this? How efficiently we are uplift, uplifting the community we directly or indirectly impact? And what is the most effective manner to bring them to the supply chain? Are we investing in the education and health of the young people in our immediate surrounding? And all this thing is also this part of this social sustainability, there is also a standard. So, at some point of time if the organization want to get a certification or get a certified with respect to their activity of the social sustainability, ISO 26000 that deals with the standard related to social sustainability. So, this is an international standard to develop to help organization effectively assess and address the social responsibility and that are relevant and significant to their mission and vision, operations processes, customer, employee, community and stakeholder and also the impact what they are creating to the ecosystem. Now, let us understand the philosophy behind the social sustainability. This is being uh, presented by many through ethics of social sustainability, the philosophy of social sustainability and few, few of the points, few points from there we have taken here to understand what is the philosophical aspect of the social sustainability. Now, here if you look at the social sustainability, the focus is on individual's behavior, attitude and action. And here the entire social sustainability um, concept or the philosophy behind social sustainability is to develop the reverse consumerism. That does not mean that we need to end consumption, but understanding the minimalistic requirement for it. So, you will feel that in many cases the minimal or the minimalistic have been a new tagline to understand that how we are concerned for the environment, how we are concerned for the society. But here the social sustainability philosophy even if they are saying that we should consume less, but it is not about end the consumption, it is about understand what is the minimalistic requirement and accordingly acting over that. So, the other perspective comes over here is that to understand between the wants and need. So, our basic economics starts with the fact to human wants and we know that human wants are unlimited. And if we are going to fulfill the unlimited wants at some point of time, we get into the basic economic question that how much resources available and how much is the how much is our want. And we always find a gap between the availability of the resources and our unlimited want. So, in that current connecting to that social sustainability, the philosophy behind it is that to understand the difference between wants and need, what we want and actually what we need in life. So, what is necessary instead of what is wanted. And here some of them have given very radical examples, starvation by choice to understand the actual need of the starving individual. So, unless we are not starving, possibly we will not know how the hunger or how the starvation is that. Or the second example can be take the vow of poverty to understand the certain level of build in social expectation. So, these are all philosophy, but when it comes to operationalization, we need to see how do we operationalize the reverse consumerism, 
or how do we operationalize the minimalistic requirement so that it is not affecting the other stakeholder in the process or the other stakeholder in the model. Then there is the different dimensions of social sustainability given by novel laureate Amartya Sen. There are six dimensions of social sustainability. It starts with the first one is equity. The here the community provide equitable opportunity and outcome for all its members, particularly to the poorest and most vulnerable member of the community. Then diversity, the community promotes and encourages diversity. Interconnected social cohesion, the community provide process, system, structure, promote connectedness with the outside the community in the formal, informal and institutional level. Similarly, the quality of life, the community ensure the basic needs are met to foster a good life for all their members in individual, group and community level with respect to health, housing, education, employment and safety, these are the basic need to lead a good quality of life. Similarly, the other dimension is democracy and governance like what kind of processes the community is having and also the open and accountable governance structure. And the last one is maturity that is the individual accept the responsibility of consistent growth improvement through better social attributes that is through behavioral pattern, indirect education and the philosophical exploration. So, the typical example here what we are discussing in the previous slide is to understand by consuming more where I am impacting or which stakeholder is getting impacted. If I am getting minimalistic whether I am affecting any of this any of the stakeholder in the business processes or in the business model or in the society model. Now, these are few of the example social uh, sustainability example that is uh, the initiative taken by the company like general electric matching gift program and healthcare access there are and this has become like a uh, popular program, program you will find many organization they have given this. Then IBM the corporate citizenship that is 167,000 years of competing time to support projects such as cancer treatment research, 3M gives young scientist challenge, Japoch for good donate the school supplies, Cisco goal is to impact 1 billion people by 2025. Then Apple ask less to planet the greenest tech company in the world. LinkedIn for good channel to participate in mentorship, mentorship, donate times and find volunteering opportunity through volunteer marketplace. So, you will find many more examples this day, this is the organization they are also seriously uh, they are putting their effort for the social sustainability, you will find many more example of the social sustainability in context. Now, let us understand since we have discussed about two things that is corporate social responsibility and corporate social sustainability, let us understand what may be the difference between CSR and CSS. Because we know that in many cases we use it interchangeably, but also there are certain differences that, that is there between the corporate social responsibility and corporate social sustainability. So, here this is one way. Uh, it is being summarized with respect to vision, target and motivation and also we will see in the next slide there are other way where we can make a difference between these two. So, here to start with a vision CSR often looks backward and reflect on what a company has done and contribute to the society and sustainability typically looks forward and develop a sustainability strategy for the future. Targets, the targets for CSR initiative are often opinion former that is media, politician and pressure group whereas corporate system they look at the whole value chain everyone from the end consumers to the stakeholder. When it comes to motivation CSR the driving forces behind CSR initiative is to protect companies obligation, but for uh, when it comes to CSS the drive has to more to do with creating new opportunity for the emerging market. Now few more differences between CSR and CSS. So, CSR is considered more like a umbrella term under which sustainability is one aspect. Other argue that CSR is the one of the three prong P in the people, planet and profit. 
whether they are evolving eventually to become synonym there are difference between these two. CSR refers to business responsibility to act ethically, consider their impact on community at a large and does not necessarily encompasses the sustainability. So, it is they are more on what is the impact on the community in that process sustainability may be achieved, sustainability may not be achieved. On the other hand sustainability concern with preserving resources in operating in a way that conducive for the long term trading. And here the clear difference between CSR and CSS is that also we discussed in the previous slide, CSR looks backward at performance typically over last 12 months while sustainability you will find that it is more forward fo facing focus with a target to secure the future for the trading. Similarly, both CSR and sustainability understand that the context that each community environment in which business operate is integral to business success and sustainability then goes step further taking into account of the need of the future generation. So, possibly the understanding over here is that the CSR is bother about or the concern about the community environment in which the business is operating, but sustainability is not now also looking at the environment and the community that will happen in the for the future generation or in the future. In business practices some say CSR is embedded in companies mission and vision who it, who it is, what it wants to represent achieve, but sustainability is the day to day operation of the company. For example, how to use the energy that is more like a sustainability. But when you take the same example is that if you are sourcing the energy from which sources, whatever the impact you are making or sourcing energy if you are able to help any group, any stakeholder that more about the corporate social responsibility. So, there is a multidimensional view of CSR typically known as 4 CR and it incorporate 3 interlink movement in the corporate world that is CSR, sustainability, worldwide reforms on the corporate governance. So, there is another view is that C, there is a apart from CSR also there is 4 CR and in 4 CR it incorporates the CSR, sustainability and also the corporate governance which is part of our the newest rise in the ESG. So, here in the last uh, this session we are trying to explore what corporate social responsibility means how the top Indian company they are doing their CSR. Then understanding briefly about social sustainability, what are the different dimensions or what is the philosophical aspect associated with social sustainability, few of the example of social sustainability by the company and lastly we discuss about the difference between the so corporate social responsibility and corporate social sustainability. So, in the next session we will see what are the sustainable development goal and how it can be aligned to the cor corporate strategy of the organization. Thank you.